Hey, 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 Charisma here. Welcome back. If you're new here, hello. Today I'm going to be reacting to a video titled, I Want to See Women More Feminine by Soskas. Let's get into it. Here we go. So in your opinion, what is the role of a man and the role of a woman, especially today? Hmm, very good question. The, the role of a man. Okay. So I want a man in my life who is masculine, meaning that he can lead, he can make decisions. He has uh, respect for himself, but also respect for me. Um, he can be vulnerable in expressing his emotions, but not emotional, meaning that his emotions rule him and run over him. Uh, I love men who open a door. That is how my husband got me. He was the first person I ever dated who ever opened up a door for me. And I thought it was the most amazing thing ever. Um, like it's, it's sad, but yeah, but like, I still, I still believe that men should be gentlemen. I don't, I'm, I'm not a feminist. I don't get mm -hmm. insulted if a man, uh, you know, puts his hand behind my back when we walk into a restaurant. I like, I love that. I mm -hmm. swoon in that. I think it's amazing. On the flip side for, for women, oh, that's a good question. What is the role of a woman? I mean, the role, by the way, those are some really great qualities that she's sharing about her desire for, you know, men should be being masculine, being, you know, leading being able to share his feelings, but not being over emotional. Those are some really great ones. Role of a woman that I would love even for myself, which I don't take on very often is I, I would love to feel more feminine. And that's what I'm teaching to most of the men that I work with is even for alpha women that they're dealing with or women who are, you know, 2022, who are go-getters and doing kick-ass, amazing thing and ball busters. At the end of the day, I would say most of those women still want to feel feminine around a men, which means soft mm -hmm. and light and girly and loved and cherished uh, and little. That's, that's how I want to feel around a masculine man. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to give you a little pushback here, Marnie, because yeah. I feel you on the masculine thing, mm -hmm. right? Obviously women want a traditional chivalrous masculine gentleman opening up doors, pulling out the seat, you know, showing yeah. respect. That's awesome. That's traditional. Nothing's changed in that regard as far as what a woman wants in a man. I don't, I think that's, that's a tale as old as time. However, what has changed, you know, if we're doing a science project here, you know, that's the fixed you know, mm -hmm. side of the equation, but the variable now is mm -hmm. modern day women. You mm -hmm. brought up feminism, right, Marnie? So like, so on one end of the spectrum, you talked about, you know, even those boss babes that are go-getters, that's going great. Even they want to be feminine and soft and, and be loved and cared for and girly. It's like, but how, there's no on and off button. Like a guy doesn't be like, all right, today I'm going to be the fucking man, but tomorrow I'll kind of be soft. <laughs> so it doesn't work that way oh, for a man. I, to for, I totally agree with you. Right. But totally for a woman, it's like, all right, one day or one hour to the next, mm -hmm. I'm a CEO. I'm a boss, babe. I'm the, I'm the bomb. I don't need no man. I got this thing. Mm -hmm. Get that bag, all that drama. And then it's like, why don't men love me? I, I, <laughs> I'm, I deserve a good man. It's like, well, I want to be loved. I want to be loved by a man. Meanwhile, that's all you're operating in is in, in the masculine, like a man. A man is not going to be want to be with you if you're being a man all the time. Come on. What's that masculine energy you're putting out? Mm -hmm. And then you yeah, want to like kind of be this soft, feminine creature. I, I do, like for women, there seems it, to be modern day I this will on tell and you off one switch. Thing. I completely agree with you. So. Uh, and it's very hard for me to explain this, but like, so I'll, I'll, I'll paint a picture of, of my life. Right. Mm -hmm. So I'm the breadwinner in our family. Um, I am definitely an alpha female, but what I love about my husband is that he can still be a strong masculine gentleman who takes the leads like in his, in his domains, mm -hmm. right. That, that he wants to take the lead. Um, but when I, I need him most is when I'm 
not in control of myself, Mm -hmm. right? Emotionally Mm -hmm. in some way where I need support from a man. Sorry, I'm just like talking through this as I'm saying it to you because it's hard to verbalize. But what I love is that my man can look at me and say, I know that you're having a hard time right now Mm -hmm. and I want to hear everything about it and hold me for a second. Like, and that's very masculine. That's still Mm -hmm. masculine to do instead. And what we have had on the, in the past between the two of us is he would get really lost in my emotions when I would have my low, lower moments where I didn't have all my shit together. Mm -hmm. And then I'm sorry that I'm having a hard time explaining this, but it would put him at a more feminine level in my eyes before. And that would make mm. me be more masculine, right. be more mm. angry. And then I would continue on that level of, I don't need to be taken care of. I don't want to be taken care of, but we we're taking this, um, this course right now together called safe conversations, which is helping him learn how to just be there for me and support mm-hmm. me and, and, and vice versa for me as well on the things that he needs. And I have noticed that when he can be there for me, on that emotional level, not being emotional, but just Mm -hmm. being the support system that I need, I can soften and I can continue to soften over time Mm -hmm. so that that bullish, more harder side of me doesn't exist as often. And when I am softer and more Mm -hmm. feminine, I can open up and be more loving towards him. Like I want to love and take care of him more and step into that more feminine role. Mm -hmm. Is that making sense? I know I'm talking about all over the place, but like- How long have you been married? 12 years. And how long has oh. it been together? Uh, for 16. Okay. And if you, you said you're the breadwinner, how long have you been the breadwinner for the whole time? Or is that more recent no. with your newfound no, 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 success? More, more recently. More, more recent. recent. Mm-hmm. So, you know, obviously you're familiar with the concept of hypergamy. Women want to date up and men typically yeah. date down and, um, you know, uh, take care of women and women want to be taken care of. So has, has, have you seen, I don't know if that's why you're taking a class. Have you seen with your recent success, uh, well, not recent, you've been doing 17 years, but you said that success has sort of come more recent. Um, like, has that changed the dynamics no. in the relationship? Because a no. lot of men feel uh, emasculated when their women mm. makes more than them. I'm not yeah. even talking about your individual relationship, but this concept of hypergamy, the man wants to be the man, make the money, be the breadwinner. And the woman kind of takes you know, more of the nurturing feminine uh, role in the household. So like, how has this changed your dynamic in your mm. relationship? I mean, to be honest, my husband, he's like, keep making more. I don't want to work anymore. So <laughs> Make that money, girl. I don't want to do he, shit. He's like, he's like, I, he's, he's 10 years older than me. He's focusing on his health and longevity. He does yeah. three, he, he does three hours of stuff for health during the day. He's like, great, keep making more money so I can do all this stuff. Um, but does that, how does that annoy no. you though? Meaning like, no. I'm assuming no. that a woman I, I'll, who's I'll working hard, making me. money, mm-hmm. And if the husband is like just working out all day, mm-hmm. at some point the female is gonna be like, "I'm working my mm-hmm. ass off here. Yeah. No. I'm fucking doing zooms over here with Adam from Valuetainment. <laughs> Meanwhile, you're sunbathing over there like mm-hmm. a hot chick should typically be doing. <laughs> There's got to be some sort of pushback. But I that, like no? your feminine, no. okay. the feminine because, that you want. Because yeah. what did you say? Does it affect the the? Because you said earlier that you wanted you want a man to make you feel feminine, and working yeah. so much. Does that make you still feel, does he still give you that way of feeling feminine because you're working more? He does. I mean, so actually I feel like as I've started to make more money, it's become easier between the the two of us. And Mm -hmm. I feel like it's made him have to step up in other ways, or at least Mm -hmm. he feels that he's had to. So I would say that the dynamic of the tension that we had was, was there a lot more when he was making more money, Hmm. even though I was working just as hard, there was, there was more of this tension between us because maybe because he was working so much and Hmm. I don't know, but sorry, I'm like going back. I'm trying, I'm trying to think through this as I'm talking, but there really hasn't been a strong shift. But what I was going to say is that 
my husband has stepped up in other areas. He's not just like, you know, working on his health and going in the sauna for three hours a day. He also runs his own business, but he also takes care of shit in our family. Mm -hmm. Like he is up in the morning. He makes breakfast for our kids. I do it on other days. He takes the initiative to plan trips for us. Like he's do, he's doing so many things as well. Could he do more? Yes, Mm -hmm. obviously he could, but he's doing stuff. Whereas I see other female friends of mine who's, Husbands, you know, don't know the phone number for the kids' doctors, or they don't know how play dates happen. They just magically appear at their house. <laughs> they don't really participate in that way, which leads to a lot of tension, a lot of frustration. And then when that tension and frustration blows up around these men, where the woman is overloaded because she's taken on so much, these other men don't know how to handle it. And they either fight back, they get defensive, whatever it is. And therefore, it leads to a further disconnect between them my friends and their significant others. And that's what was happening before between my husband and I. Mm -hmm. And now I'm telling, it's like this magical thing. We do this safe conversations. It's a template for conversation where I will come to him and I'll say, Hey, do you have five minutes to talk? I'm having a frustration with you that I want to work through. And he goes, yes. And he listens to me. And I express the frustration where I don't point blame at him, but I talk about how it feels. And then he just says, I hear you. Is there more about that? And I tell him if there's more and then he doesn't respond again, but then says, how do you feel about that? I tell him how I feel. And then after that, he repeats back to me what he's heard me said and then says, I totally get it. That must be hard. And just hearing that Mm. it deflates that toxic energy that I have, that animosity and that tension. And then he hugs me at the very end and I feel more connected to him and he's still maintaining his masculinity because he's not crumbling in front of me. He's not getting into a fight with me. He's not picking at my emotions or belittling the way that I feel he's supporting me. That's, that's, that's what I'm talking about in terms of being more emotional with women. And it has transformed our relationship. So if you like that clip. Wow. That was powerful. Um, Yeah. Like, have you, have you experienced something like that in your relationship? You know, where, you're you're making more money as a female and your husband a significant other is not making as much and it's going well it's working out beautifully he's still masculine you know but with the his feminine traits to be supportive and to really tap into his emotions when he's having a moment and you're being supported let me know in the comments below what you thought about this and what your experiences have been. Remember to subscribe to the channel, uh, like the video, and turn on the notification bell so you you get to know when I drop another video like this every day. Until next time, take care and bye for now.